Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, bunch of stuff is happening. My main mission at the moment is to test soldiers for psionic powers, which is currently in progress. And will be done in... Four days. I also need to research the ethereal device, which I just looked. And realized that for some reason I'm not researching anything, which is stupid. So let's start researching that, it'll be two days. I accept the fact that there could be risks involved in studying this new alien device. But the enemy leaves us with no other choice. Aside from that, there's just a bunch of stuff happening. Ship transfers, as soon as they're done transferring, I think I need to give them EMP cannons. I think I have them in reserve. And, uh, yeah, let's just wait. That was quicker than I thought. Gollop chamber, available for construction. Yeah, that's... I think that's the last thing you need to build for the end mission. We're actually very close to the end. Once we build this facility, a psionically powerful soldier will be able to access the Ethereal's psychic net. Psy armor. I don't know what that does, but it's going to be done in like two minutes, so let's just do it. We're coming down to the wire here. Now that we've backed the aliens into a corner, I think we'll see what they're really made of. Personally, I expect nothing short of pure desperation in their resistance. They've invested too much to go down without a fight. Indeed. We need to start working on the housing for this device as soon as possible. Considering what we went through to get it, we should be making every effort to provide a secure location for its storage. Which I will do, as soon as I have actual space to do it, which it will be in four days. In the meantime, we will continue to wait. Alright, ships are transferred, let's give them EMP cannons. Demon 4 and Demon 5. There you go, you beautiful beast. Alright, so I will now have a demon. A demon? <laughs> I'm gonna have a demon in every location, and every single one has an EMP cannon too. Sweet. Psy Armor. What does it do? Our most powerful armored suit. This equipment serves to amplify the wearer's psionic abilities through a system modeled after the alien's own cybernetic implants. However, it should be noted this armor can only be equipped by a soldier found to have psionic abilities. Plasma pistol or plasma cannon. I don't intend to buy the plasma cannon, so I guess... As much as it hurts my very soul to say this, let's do the plasma pistol. I guess. Sure. Nah, fuck it. I'm gonna do the plasma cannon. Fuck the pistol. I hate pistols. Continue to wait. Jelly Delirium. Which I was once again about to pronounce Jelly Uranium, which I don't think is a thing. It's not going to tell me what it does, is it? How, how would I look at that? View soldiers, look at my mech. John Connigany Smith, can I look at your ability? No, it's not an ability. It's, it's part of your suit. Which is an engineering and here... Flamethrower. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't tell me shit. Yeah, whatever. I'll find out in the battlefield. How good that actually improves the flamethrower. New soldiers. Stell satellite. And everybody's armed with an EMP cannon. Okay. Now, wait. What's going on here? Research has an exclamation mark. Oh, plasma cannon available for manufacture. Well, what the hell? It's weird. Not sure why it showed me that. Okay. Ah, <sighs> you and I meet at last, Pistol. Fine. I'll research you. Okay, now I have a bunch of new recruits who are automatically promoted to Squatty. Or Rookie? Yeah, Squatty. Okay, so I need a new support. So, how many supports do we have? Looks like we have two. Okay, Ludmilla Semyon... That's a really cool name. I can't really pronounce it, though. And Rafal Jablonski. <laughs> Jablonski, that is an awesome name. Okay, so I have one more viewer name to add to the list, and I was waiting for another support to come in. So let's give it to you. You have smoke. So customize, and alright. The last and newest... The last addition at the moment, unless I get more names, which is pretty unlikely, because I'm about to finish the game, but we'll see. Last one is Ethan... 
Guinto? Nope. Let me make sure I spelled that right. G-U-I-N-T-O. Yep, Ethan Guinto. Or Ginto. However you pronounce that. Okay, any easy missions? I definitely need to take him out on them because I need to get up a support. Although I have to be honest. The chance of getting him upgraded to the point where he's actually really good before the last mission is pretty low. Unless, of course, I specifically made sure to stall my progress. Just to wait for him to come up. Which I don't want to do. So it's possible that he will be replaced with another support if a high-level support is offered as a mission reward. I hope so. We'll see. Anyway, let's continue to wait. Alright, is anyone going to have Psy abilities? Hello? Message from the Psy Labs. A round of psionic testing is complete. We still haven't had a candidate <sighs> respond positively to the testing. We'll have to continue evaluating the remaining troops from the current pool. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, uh, who else do I send? It They're going to be out of battle for 10 days. So... Okay, well, I can do Isley, no problem. Yeah, Spectre's there and back up. Who else? Finn. Yeah, I'll do Finn. I have Soul. She, unfortunately, Soul does not have the Shredder Rocket, but she's still decent. She's still pretty good. Graves. Hmm. Let's do Gary Warner. Yeah, that's good. Now, I would like to do some gene mods. I have a lot of meld. Who can I safely do for gene mods, though? That's the wrong spot. Uh, research, yeah, gene lab. Okay. Who do I want to give what? Um, Arrow probably doesn't need anything. She is upgraded to hell. I do want to eventually give my people... Alright, what is it? Confers plus 20 will when defending against psi attacks and immunity to panic. If the soldier's mind control, the control is cancelled and the soldier is stunned for one turn instead. See, that would be very good. In fact, I'm going to say that's required for the last mission. At least, that's going to be my own personal requirement. Yeah, I think neural damping is probably more important than neural feedback. Because this, as it says, does not reduce the attacker's chance of success. Whereas this one will. And they can't be mind controlled. Which is the most, that's the most important thing to be honest. Is just that they can't be mind controlled. That is extremely important. But I don't need to give it to her yet. Um, secondary heart would be nice. It would mean she can't die. Instantly anyway. In fact, let's just do it. Yeah, I don't want my people to die. Anything else? Bioelectric skin, don't care. Adaptive bone marrow, don't care. Neurosympathy, don't care. Depth perception, eh, I never really use that. Not for an assault, at least. This I don't need yet. Yeah, let's just go with that. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Okay. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. Thank you, Dr. Valen, or Valen. I forgot how to pronounce your name, I am sorry. Okay, Graves, since he is my only support, absolutely needs secondary heart. Actually, wait. That's kind of stupid, isn't it? Because he's the only one with the med kit. He couldn't revive himself. Um, not necessarily. Okay. The thing is, I don't think you actually need to revive a critically wounded soldier. I believe if you end the mission before they die... That it's basically the same thing. Like, before... The basic idea is that before they died, you managed to haul them off into the chopper or whatever. The interceptor. I think. Uh, because if that doesn't work, then this would be pointless, because no one else is going to have a med kit. I really want him to live. I really, really do. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I want to give him more, but 
Every new gene mod you add to him will take three more days, so not yet. Who else? You when the genetic modification process is completed. Um, there's no one else I want a gene mod at the moment because my some of my troops are away for testing. So I'm just gonna wait. Yay, plasma pistol! Our soldiers should now be able to use any that they recover from the battlefield. Plasma pistol available for manufacture. Improved pistol 3 available in the foundry. Who cares? Ooh, yay. Ooh, yay. There's nothing to research. Alright, can I build the gullop chamber? Probably not. I don't think I have enough money. Let's find out. Nope. It is as expensive as shit. Actually, shit is not very expensive. It's quite cheap. But you know what I mean. Alright, hopefully the gene mods are done before we fight anybody. Yes, yes, okay. Second heart will allow a critically wounded soldier to survive longer without medical assistance. Arrow has come. Oh, it just didn't show me the other. Or no, the other gene mod isn't done. Okay, it'll be done in like two seconds. Commander, the council is requesting a direct link on the secure channel. I'm not sure if the other one. It said air. See, in the bottom left, it said Arrow had finished, but the only cutscene was played for Graves, and in the bottom right, it still said someone was doing a gene. I don't know. Whatever. All right, is this a council mission? Deluge. Um, they're surviving Exalt operative. Wait, there's there's a single surviving Exalt operative. When did that happen? Okay, has provided additional intel on the location of our missing transport vehicle, and not a moment too soon. It Oh, fuck. It appears the aliens have cornered the truck on a dam in eastern France. If we're going to recover the cargo, we'll need to act fast. <sighs> Just like the mission with the chrysalids, I remember someone talking about this as being a mission where your entire squad can easily wipe. But... We can't let the council down. I'm definitely going to take my best on this one, though. Which means my mechs. Spectre, you're the, only, you're the only one I can take. Graves, of course. Arrow and soul. Yep. All right, we're good. I mean, as far as my selection goes, obviously I need to equip them. Yep, heavy plasma. Shit and plating. Let's go. Looks like you're good to go, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, I have a plasma pistol, which I must have recovered from the battlefield. Now I can actually use them. What is it? All right, so what does it do? This one's one to two, which is pathetic. Two to four. Still pathetic, but okay. Good to go. Good to go. No more plasma pistols, that's fine. Chitin plating. Do I want to give you an arc thrower? Uh, I don't care. Doesn't matter. Medkit, you're good to go. You are not good to go. Plasma. Oh wait, you need... Should I give you the chitin plating? No, actually, you need it the least, because you're going to be very far in the back. Scope, of course. Should I give you the chitin plating? No, that doesn't make any sense. Check, 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 check. We're good. All right, let's go die. Touching down. Operation Hot em <laughs> Hot Empire is the mission name. The transport is stopped on a dam in France. Likely, the aliens have sabotaged the structure. See, that's the part that wipes your squad. It's likely the aliens have sabotaged the structure. That damn gun burst. Ooh, pretty backgrounds. That actually is a really pretty scene, except it's going to look very hideous once we get in-game because there's going to be fog of war. 
It looks like the transport came under attack while attempting to cross that dam. Judging from the damage, the aliens must have strafed the entire area trying to slow the truck down. If they want this thing that badly, there's no telling what else they might send in to try and retrieve it. That dam is in bad shape, though. We'll need to move quickly if we're going to secure the truck before they do. Actually, never mind. It doesn't look too ugly. It actually looks really cool. It's such a wonderful feeling of, of an epic scene here. Just look at how big this thing is. You can just feel how big it is. And that is not a euphemism, by the way. Not a euphemism. Also, I can't help but notice that I have six turns. Holy shit, we need to move fast. Is that until the dam bursts or just until they get the thing? And why do I have a mini-map in the top left? Have I ever had that before? It's covering up my text. Go away. What the fuck's the point of that? Open the bypass valves to delay the dam's collapse. Okay. In other words, move forwards and don't die. Step number one. Scout. Need full cover. That's not full cover. That's not f There's... There's literally no full cover. God damn it. Okay, arrow is useless. At the moment, at least for her mimetic skin ability. Let's move up super fast. What the hell? The dam has already taken heavy damage. But it looks like we can delay the oh. if we open the bypass valves positioned along the way to the transport. Okay. Um <laughs> are mechs able to manipulate the uh, the valves or are there gigantic mechy hands? Maybe they don't have fine motor control enough to do that. Um, I need someone with long legs. Oh, god damn it. The only one with the long legs was Blunder, who is now dead. I keep forgetting that. Rip in pieces, Blunder. I'd like to get Spectre up in that tower. She could probably shoot almost anything on the entire bridge from it. However, I need to keep her close to the group because I don't know where the enemies are going to be coming from. They could come from anywhere. I don't know if they're all on the bridge already or if they could just come in in waves. So I'm going to move Arrow up on the left. I'll split my group in two. I'll do three on the left, three on the right. One mech going to each different one. There. One mech on the left, one mech on the right. Yeah, so I'll have Spectre, F uh, Soul, and John Cotton Candy Smith on the right, and everyone else on the left. Overwatch. Commander, we've got hostile aircraft moving okay. in the vicinity of Strike One's position. It looks like the aliens are bringing in reinforcements to go after the truck. Oh hi! What the? Oh. You're just a normal muton, you're nothing. That's actually really cool. <laughs> the beaming down technology. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, it's a very bad chance to hit because you are far too close. Not a sniper strong point. Yeah, I don't know if the mechs can turn the valves. I'm not really going to try. Let's just move you up there. Is that thing on Overwatch? It is on Overwatch. They're always on Overwatch, aren't they? Well, I'm going to have to heal you at some point, although I probably don't have time to stop to do it. So, fuck it. Alright. Well, at least I popped that. I think John here needs to get in on the action a bit. On my way. 
Oh, hi. Let's distribute the ammo usage. That's actually really pretty. Look at that over there. Hold on, forget that. Forget that. Just look at this. I wish I could disable the UI. Look at that. Actually, this... Yeah, this looks better. That is really pretty. Ah, take it in. It's the view before my entire squad dies. Nah, I'm just kidding. We'll be fine. <laughs> uh, maybe. That valve is running wide open, but we still need to secure the truck before it's too late. All right, letting the pressure out a bit. Get some full cover here. A little bit of scouting. All right, there's another one. So there's one there, one in the center. All right, so there, we need to funnel ourselves into the center. Got it. Alright, where can I move her? I can sprint her, and then next turn I can sprint her, and then use Graves to heal her. How much can you heal now at this point? Doesn't say. It's gonna be a lot. I think it's I think it's gonna be 12? Somewhere between 8 and 12 hit points, I think. Um, this... Shit, where do I put you? That's fine. Yeah, I'll put, uh, I'll put Soul right there next to him, in full cover. Okay, you, um... Yeah, they can beam down too randomly, I don't, I don't want her to be up here alone. And I don't know, I might need my group together, we might need to do some crazy stuff, because this, this is a special mission. It's not a normal mission, so... I'm gonna plop you right there. You're not in cover, but you're... You have a height advantage. Now, hold on, you're the one that has two shots, right? Double tap? Double tap, double tap. Where is it? Yeah, double tap. Okay, so you can always shoot twice. Which actually is probably not the best thing for this sort of a mission. Because this mission is gonna have a lot of weak enemies. But it's still perfectly good. Yes, please send them in far away so I can shoot them. Yeah, like this would be perfect for Isley. But I can still kill them both very easily. Well, that one's dead. Or not. Oh, shit. Okay. A little bit of complication there. Can I kill all of them? No. But I can kill a lot of them. I don't think I need to use my rocket yet. Nah. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, she actually has a really good chance to hit. Yeah, there's no way I need to use my rocket yet. No way. Alright. I'm thinking one shot and then a grenade. Yeah. Let's let's do a shot and a grenade. Well, 
which will take it down to about five hit points. What if I just shoot you again? No, I don't want to use up too, too much of your ammo. This is fine. I don't really have time to reload them because I keep getting assaulted by enemies. So I, I really do need to spread out the ammo usage. In fact, I want to do that so much that... Who should I use? Let's just use you. Yeah, you got plenty of shots in that sniper rifle. Let's do that. You're dead. Wait. How come she can't go again? Have I already shot her? I don't. I think I've only used her once. I'm confused. Eh, oh well, that doesn't matter. Anyway. Alright, I want to get close to this thing. <laughs> Arrow has so many things down here. So many. It's insane. I'd have to run and gun if I wanted to put her there. I really don't want to do that. Hmm. Oh, yeah. The flamethrower. I'm not going to use it, but... It does nine damage. All right. It doesn't look like it has any more range. But it does do nine damage instead of six, which is quite nice. You seriously can't see anyone? All right. gonna move you up then. More overwatch. They always have overwatch. Don't. Well, shoot her as much as you want. I can heal her a shit ton of hit points, so doesn't matter. All her wounds will be fixed. I really do want to heal her this, this turn. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yep, heals 10 hit points. You're good. I kind of want to just move him up here. Yeah, what the hell. Whatever. might be kind of overkill, but I think everything that you would uh, kill these sectoids with would be overkill at this point. Unfortunately, I have to use you to kill that little shit. Which I am loath to do. But... <sighs> See, the thing is, if I put her here, she's not going to be in range to get to this and turn it next turn. But you know what? Whatever. You are dead ten times over. Alright, I would like to reload. And in fact, this looks like the only turn in which I actually have a bit of breathing room. So let's do that. First things first, let's scout and get you up here. Oh shit, that's half cover. Damn it. We can't afford to go slow. Nope, gonna do it. That's fine. Ah, they didn't group together. It's bad news for me. Alright, you can just shoot both. Which, I guess, is precisely what I'm gonna do. Alright. We're gonna burn her ammo for a bit and reload everyone else. Move up and reload. Double tap. There's one tap, there's a second tap. Double tap. Yeah, this is a sort of... It's a mission where you really need to 
make sure you keep everyone reloaded and stuff, because you don't have a lot of breathing room. You can't just stop. You're always under the gun. Reloaded. So you really need to make sure that you take the time to reload. to move you up too much. If I moved him to the side of the vehicle, he'd probably get flanked if anyone appeared. Alright, there's probably going to be reinforcements. Enemy reinforcements next turn, I bet. Right? Right? Oh! Okay, never mind. Didn't expect that. Alright, I still don't really need to reload Spectre. I'm tempted to leave her there because she has such a good view, but... No, I mean, look how big this is. She's gonna get left behind. And she could be killed by... Yeah, no, it's too dangerous. I need to keep her near. So where's a good spot? I don't know, but let's do this. That bypass valve is open, but we're not done yet. Keep moving, strike one. No, we're not. That only gave us, like, what, two turns? We gotta move. Alright, I'll put you there. That's fine. It's not a height advantage, but... We really need to move. We really do. So where are the valves? There's one there. Any here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, there's another yeah, there's another one right up there. So we're gonna split off again. Alright, you are going to scout. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna bring up the right. Okay, some more thin men. Not a big deal. So that means it's safe to move my troops over here on the left. Perfectly fine. Graves, you have the... The, the gene mod that makes it so you don't die, although I don't think that's any use on this mission. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to have to escape with the rest of the squad. It's not a normal mission that can just end... I think it's going to be one of those where you have to run everybody to the exit, or everybody dies, or something like that. Move you up on the left. No, oh no, a cloud of poison! It's going to corrode my metal. Move you up on the right. I'm going to sprint a little bit here. Well, maybe I shouldn't. No, I won't sprint. in case we get some more beam downs. Alright, I will use you to run up. You're standing on the open, but it's fine. There's no one to see you. So, 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one, one. Spectre's gonna stay there, so... Soul, you are going right. Ooh, full cover. Ooh, full cover. Can't resist. And a little bit of overwatch. Just a tad. Mm-hmm, I thought so. Glad I did overwatch. That's gonna pop. Or not. Oh yeah, here we go. Did you seriously just miss the fucking mechtoid a foot away? Oh, but you killed the sectoid! Good job. Good job. It's okay. They've done so much for me in the past that I can forgive any mistakes they would make. Alright, they probably all have Overwatch again, so let's be careful here. Step number one. Step number one is obviously to blast you in the face twice, which is actually probably going to kill you. Actually, yeah, it's going to kill you. I think. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you're dead. You have Overwatch, so I should shoot you before I move Graves. Yeah, I'm gonna get the wheel. Okay, 
All right. Let's get ourselves some breathing room here. Okay. See if I can sprint. Oh, perfect. Perf. Oh, wait, no. Wait, she can be seen. Yeah, she'll be revealed if I do that. But that wouldn't be a problem if I blew them both up. But that's kind of a waste. That's kind of a waste. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Perfect. However... Hold on. However, he only has one grenade. But he's got three proximity mines. Wait, is it not gonna... Oh, he doesn't have an angle on that. Okay. Alright, we'll use up our grenade. I was going to just use the proximity mine just to, once again, distribute the use of ammo, but nope, not going to work. And now she can safely move up here without triggering them and being seen. Actually, wait, is that half? Oh, fuck, it's half cover anyway. It doesn't really matter, but still. It's good to kill them when they're close together. Let's move you into some full cover here. Also some full cover, but a little bit closer up. Again, we can't stay put. Can't be too cautious. You really need to move up. Perfect. Perfect. I'll put you right there. Well, not perfect. I would really like some cover. But still. Oh, hi. Okay, Overwatch. Gotta remember that. They are on Overwatch. That's it? Just... Two, oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. Eh, he'll heal. He can heal up to six. He's good. Stem number one. Turn this. Pressure on the dam is dropping. Keep it up. Alright, we're pretty close to the end here. I think, yeah, the end is right here. So I'm guessing this is the truck that we need to secure. So that's kind of like halfway in or something. Locate the transport vehicle carrying the hijacked weapon. There's a hijacked weapon? What, do we have a WMD or something? What the hell happened here? It's like something nasty happened. It's like they shot a laser from the sky directly into that. That might actually be the last valve. If it is, then we definitely need to move fast. the only one you can hit. Very good chance. Almost guaranteed to kill. Hmm. Alright, well, let's kill you. <laughs> he jumped off. I would like to reload her. Oh, okay. I get what it does. If there's no other targets in range that you can see, it just uses up the rest of her turn. Okay, I didn't know that. It's interesting. Well, that's a very good chance to hit, and it's going to kill it, probably. Yeah. And you haven't used your ammo, so, yep. Spread out the ammo usage. Excellent. And now I can safely move you up to full cover. Alright, so we can safely move up. Shouldn't encounter anything. Well, might be something over there. We can see here, but not here. In fact, let's move you up first. Since you have a ton of health. Yeah, it's good. I'd like to reload this turn. I really shouldn't be putting graves in the front. I really shouldn't. Affirmativo. 
Ooh, you badly need to reload as well. Let's do that. Yeah, I need to reload. Resupply completed. You as well. Hmm. Okay, I'll move you up here. Okay, whew. I was worried he might see something. Oh. Another turn of safety. Cool. Do some scouting. That looks like our target. Okay. Get over there and extract the weapon before that whole place goes down. You know, I'm thinking maybe we need to get there and then just like run back. Or is that the end? I hope it ends when we get there, because we have to run back over like six turns with no more valves to turn then. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to sprint. Like, we're, we can't even shoot anything at that point. We'd have to just run. So I'm really hoping that's not it. So I believe next turn she can probably sprint. She can probably sprint there, I think. I want some serious overwatch here, because I'm sure they're about to come down on our heads. Not really sure I can get a lot of overwatch here, though. i got to move my people up. Yeah, I can't really. And what about Spectre? Hold on, what about you first? Yeah, to sprint up. Stay on the right side, spread out our troops a little bit. Do I leave you there or move you in? I could put her on one square up here. I probably should, yeah. She's way too far away from the group, too dangerous. It's okay, she still has half of her ammo left, which is probably like four to six shots, I think. I had one overwatch, a lot less than I wanted, but yep, here we go. Come on. I dare ya. Alright, it's probably gonna be a mechtoid to come along with that, right? That's how it works, sectoids and mechtoids. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. Oh yeah. What the hell just happened? Oh, right, overwatch. Oh shit, there's two. Actually, that's okay. Our mechs can probably deal with them. Like, one one mech, I think, can probably kill one mechtoid. Never mind, you can't see the other mechtoid. How, are you... Are you fucking blind, John Smith? Oh, I'm sorry, there's a corner of a car in the way. I guess you can't see it. <sighs> That's dumb. That would hurt my own troops. All right, well, step number one, kill this one. Ooh, this might... Up to 11... It might not kill it. Okay, thankfully it did. Alright, I could damage it and kill the sectoid. I can actually blow up the building that spec. If you blow up a building that one of your characters is on, what happens to the to them? Do they fall? How does that work? I've never seen that happen. Hmm. Hold on. Let's um. Let's first see what you can do because you can shoot them twice. Oh, you're dead. You are dead. Alright, well, uh, oh yeah, you have the battle scanner, which is totally useless on this mission, unfortunately. I kind of want to save our ammo. Yeah, let's have someone else kill her. Kill her. Kill it. 
Uh, you're full. You're good. Yeah, I think I might overwatch you. Um, hold on, though. First, let's see if I can sprint her up. Yes, I can. Okay. Let's see what this does. This might end the mission, but I don't think it will. What's happening? What is this? I don't like this. Looks like the weapon everyone was after may be even more valuable than we thought. That is apparently the end of the mission. That was interesting. That's a very big change of pace. The mission itself was strange, and the end was very strange. Is something going to happen with that? That storyline? Is it going to be continued, or is, is that it? I'm really curious now. Achievement unlocked. Solid prospect. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. That's it? It feels like there should be a continuation of what was happening at the end, but... Apparently there isn't. Huh. I don't, maybe that's like a, a storyline thread that will continue when you do more council missions? Maybe? We safely recovered Annette Durand from both Exalt and the Aliens, but she's already indicated that there may be more civilians of interest in the invader's custody. We'll debrief and see if we can locate them as well. Incidentally, she has expressed interest in training as an XCOM operative. Well, I would love to have her. She appears to have some abilities. But how do I, like, Remember, do that? We will be watching. He says she might want to join. How would I let her join? This captive we recovered from the aliens, hmm. Annette, was apparently passed off to them by the Exalt organization. So far, she's been less than forthcoming about how she wound up in their control, or what makes her so valuable that they pursue her to this extent. Whatever the case, we need to keep a close eye on her. You say that, but can I actually interact with her in any way? Like, where, where is she? Is she in my barracks? Is she a soldier? Oh, she is! She's a heavy. Oh, why couldn't she be a support? Interesting, does she have special abilities of some sort? Does she have gene mods? Wait, is this what she has or what she can have? No, it's not what she has, otherwise she'd be sleeveless. Oh no, she's a sergeant. Okay. Well, as always, bullet swarm. And shred a rocket. Alright, well, I have a decent heavy as a backup, which is nice, but otherwise I don't think I'm going to use her. Uh, I could test her for Psy abilities, I suppose. Given what she displayed back there, I would say she probably already has psionic abilities. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's get, let's get rid of all these little things that are annoying me. These little upgrade stars. Gamma. Robert Ross. RR. Yeah, that was a really interesting mission. I was scared of it. Because it looks like you can wipe, I guess. You could easily squad wipe if you just don't turn the valves fast enough, you don't move fast enough. I guess the dam will burst and everybody dies. Yay! Uh, but it actually wasn't too bad. The enemies were mostly very weak. There wasn't even a sectobot or anything. Mostly a lot of sectoids and thin men. And some basic mutons. 
But it was a really interesting mission. It looked really beautiful. It was a nice change of pace. And the ending was very intriguing. I'm surprised to see such a relatively heavy story element in one of these missions. Normally it's just a kind of a one-off, you know? You'd, they want you to do something, I want you to escort a target, you do it, and that's it, and you never hear about it again. But now it's like a, it's like an ongoing thing. And they've even teased that there might be more people that have been captured, more missions just like it. More people that need to be rescued or something like that, so that's really interesting. Alright, well this is going to be a relatively short episode, but I'm going to end it here. Because if I keep going, it's probably going to end up being nearly two hours. So, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed so far. When I come back, I will... Well, let's see, what is there left to do? I guess do more side testing. Hopefully get enough money to build a gollop chamber, which I actually have enough, might have enough money to do now. I do. <laughs> I'm going to have one space buck left, but let's do it. Gollop chamber, that is the last thing that I need to build to do the final mission. Yep, test soldiers for psionic powers in progress. Research the ethereal device completed. Construct the gollop chamber in progress. Use the ethereal device. So I'm actually pretty damn close to the end. Just gotta get some psi powers. Gotta upgrade all of my troops with some good gene mods, including the very much required one that will protect them from being mind controlled, which is very important. I absolutely need to do that before I do the mission. Oops. So all that is to do before the final mission. Alright, I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.